Hey, Alan here again from LearnKoreanFast.com and in this video, I want to give you a, a, kind of the next step to the uh, an earlier video where we talked about, uh, I'm sorry, so Mian Hada, right? Uh, and I just thought it was a really easy way, easy thing to kind of throw in because we've been talking about Sagwa. Sagwa means apple, right? But uh, Sagwa also means apology, right? So. Uh, it's no connection. It comes from different Hanza from the Chinese characters, but the pronunciation and the writing are exactly the same. So Sagwa. Uh, so if I want to, so before we had Mianada, Mianada, right, and Mianheo, right. So if we, to apologize, right, Sagwa Heo, right. So uh, especially when uh, I want you to apologize to me, Sagwa Haseo, uh, Sagwa Heo, right. So we could use it, same phrase, sagwa heo, sagwa heo, I apologize, right? So it's command tone is a little flatter, uh, much like it is in English when we give imperative sentences, right, for command. So sagwa heo, uh, sagwa heo, right? So sagwa haseo uh, is kind of the polite way to ask for someone to apologize, right? Uh, again, a lot like mian he and mian hada, uh, it's not very common, right? Uh, but you might use it among friends or uh, people that you're really close to, right? So, sagwa, and I just thought it was kind of easy way, easy thing to kind of tag on to vocabulary that we already had before because we do know sagwa, right? Because sagwa is apple, right? So it's the exact same uh, characters and exact same pronunciation. Don't worry, you're not going to get confused about that because you no, know, nobody says do apple, do apple, sagwa hail, right? Uh, so you'll know from the context from the situation and anybody around you would also know from the context and, and the situation what meaning your sagwa is now it comes from totally different uh because sagwa hada comes from a chinese from hanja the chinese characters in korean are called hanja so it, that's why it has that same spelling and that same sound right so you, you won't have to get them confused and it's kind of easier for you because now you have one word sagwa that has two different meanings so now you're just trying to remember the meanings for it. that's one word not two different words okay cool so hope that helps you out and i hope that helps you to figure out some other ways that you can add vocabulary into your korean language and practice right away all right be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that before and hit the like share leave me a question or a comment check out learnkoreanfast.com in the links below or uh, please buy my book on amazon it really does help me out so i have more time for making videos like this for you all right